Hello guys, Huskers GBR or Rich here bringing you another video and today I want to talk about electric motorcycles and uh, right at the bat I think they're going to be the future of uh, transportation. Not necessarily uh, just electric motorcycles but electric cars and stuff like that. I just kind of want to go into my uh, reasoning behind uh, why I think that because uh, I'm sure that's going to catch a few people off guard. So to me it seems like with uh, gas powered bikes and cars um, Technology has it's still improving with them like the engines are getting more powerful better fuel economy stronger last longer all that type of stuff But not nearly at the rate that they were you know like in the past they are developing much much quicker than what they are today You look at electronics and electric motors and electric systems and god There's like something new that's twice as good as the old or the previous generation in a matter of months, if not weeks, after uh, you know the original is released. So they're always, always, always improving and always, always, always making a better product with electronics. And um, you know, that's kind of what a lot of manufacturers of uh, regular gas-powered uh, vehicles, bikes, cars, stuff like that, boats even, are starting to you know, differentiate, differentiate themselves from other manufacturers by the amount of electronics that they include, whether it's electronic braking, ABS, traction control, um, you know, the little tablet or touch screen monitors inside and stuff like that. So, you know, electronics are becoming kind of the focal point of uh, automotive technology. And if you're not familiar, there is a very nice um, electric superbike out there called uh, the Mission R by Mission Motors. It has a 165 horsepower um, electric motor on it and has a 150 mile range and will top out at 100 and uh, like 70, 180 miles an hour. Um, weighs in I think at 500 pounds, so a little heavy, but you know it kind of shows what is what is actually capable with these electronic systems. And I do have a background in electronics. Uh, I work for Hobby Town USA, and I do a ton of work with toy uh, toy cars that use the same style of motor and battery systems that are found in like the Mission R, the Toyota Prius and stuff like that. And these motors, these electric motors, I mean that 161 horsepower electric motor, it's, uh, well I can't, I don't have a throttle lock on, but it's about four inches in diameter and six inches long and 165 horsepower out of it compared to a engine that's let's say like what, 18 inches across and probably a hundred pounds you know that makes the same amount like a like in an r1 or a gixxer thousand so electronics can or electronic motors and uh stuff like that they can produce a lot more power in a smaller footprint with less weight and a lot less maintenance too really i think the the two things are a couple things that are holding back um the electronic uh revolution of cars and bikes and stuff like that is uh battery size and weight uh, right now those batteries uh, in most electric cars take up the majority of the amount of space as well as uh, the majority of the weight is attributed to the batteries. So we need to be able to make batteries smaller and lighter, I believe. And then also um, the other thing that's uh, holding back these uh, electronic uh, vehicles and stuff like that is the capacity or how long uh, the batteries actually last. You know, nobody wants to go for a cruise, you know, let's say you live in California, you know, go out to the mountains and go cruising. You know, if you're riding these bikes hard or some of these cars hard, they get less than 100 miles. And for me personally, that wouldn't be anything too major, but, you know, you, you, we want more. And I, and I see the day coming that, you know, a little battery that's, let's just say, a foot, like one square foot or one square meter, that's just, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, that lasts all day or something like that, you know, can go a thousand miles. And, you know, then there's chargers that can charge them up in a matter of uh, hours, not days or half days or anything like that. So I think right now batteries are the main thing holding, holding this technology back from being adapted uh, into uh, our daily transportation needs and stuff like that. But I'm really looking forward to it. You know, electronic motors, they have... Uh, they can have a lot more power and their torque is right there on an engine. You know, you have the throttle curve and it's kind of, uh, it dips down right at first and then the power really starts to pick up. On an electric motor, the power band is essentially anywhere from 10% of the RPMs all the way up to 100%. So, you know, you have that instant torque and that instant power just about everywhere that you can imagine. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. 
you know, if they got cheaper and uh, had better range and stuff like that, I'd definitely be interested in one. I think the Mission R is sitting right at $30,000, but, you know, not that too far, or not too much further, or too much more expensive, excuse me, than a uh, Pinigale or top of the line gas bike from uh, any of the manufacturers. So that's just my two cents on it, guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about electronic motorcycles, cars, stuff of that matter. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Later, guys.